Hello friends, welcome back to my home. So today's project, oh, I'm so excited about. I have been waiting and waiting to do this because I've had so much other things going on with it being canning season and just everything. If you all are completely new here, we recently moved into an old farmhouse and we just love this old house. It's got all these funny little corks, but one thing I'm so thankful that it has is this laundry room that is right off the kitchen and it also has a small bathroom that is connected to it as well. So I decided to go ahead and just tackle it all together. We get everything a fresh coat of paint and it's just a spot that we use a lot because it's right connected to the kitchen and who is not constantly doing laundry. So I wanted to do this all on a budget and not overspend but make it cute and comfortable and minimal but homey and a place that my family enjoys so one thing that i was able to really score on is i was able to hit sales at hobby lobby where they were getting rid of a lot of what they called their spring shop stuff it was all marked down huge amount some of it even up to 90 percent off so I was able to pay very little. This sign, this fresh linen sign is from there and I was able to get it on sale. I'm gonna be hanging up with command strips, but one thing you wanna do is remove any other hangers on the back of your item you wanna hang with command strips because it adds an extra thickness to the back of your art or whatever, your sign and it makes it really hard for your command strips to attach well to the wall. So I went ahead and removed those and I put the command strips on and then I climbed up above the window and put it up there. And my husband was actually standing behind me kind of eyeballing where to place it. I just sat a little level on top of it and I was able to make sure that it was level, but he was kind of eyeballing it to tell me where I should hang it according to the window. And funny thing is, when you have old houses, that window actually was very much out of level. So I didn't go by the level, I went by his eyeballing so that it didn't look crooked according to the window frame, because the window frame is crooked. <laughs> If you live in an old house, you get it. You totally get it. So one reason that I love this shelf here and my husband built me this shelf above the washer and dryer is because I'm able to put plants by this window. This window lets a lot of sunlight in and it's just a good place to have a shelf for little plants. But of course, I will be using it to store th other things for the laundry room as well as you're going to see. So I'm outside and I got this really cool hanging pot from Amazon. I think they come in packs of two. I have a second one as well. And I'm putting some potting mix in there. And I, um, the last couple of months, have been really looking in how to how to propagate the plants I have already. So quite literally creating free plants for myself. And in our sunroom, I have jars on one of my plant shelves that I have my little propagations in. And I decided in the laundry room, I wanted to hang a Swiss cheese plant. I already have one of those. So I went ahead and propagated two leaves off of them. I just looked up how to propagate that type of plant. Every plant or most plants kind of have a little bit of a different way to propagate them. These here you can propagate in water. So I just had two sections from my original plant. I allowed them to grow roots over the last couple of months in those jars. And now I'm going to be potting them into this hanging pot. So this hanging pot is gonna look a little scarce, <laughs> but over the next couple of months and as long as this plant is one single plant and is growing out of this hanging plant, it's gonna grow and vine and get really full and bushy as it creates more stems and leaves out of this pot. Thanks to Roborock for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to share with you the Q Revo vacuum. This is a mop and a vacuum. The Q Revo comes with a five in one multifunctional dock to help users keep maintenance to a minimum. This dock has auto mop washing, auto mop drying, 
auto dust emptying and it automatically refills the tanks. This is an amazing system and really helps me out in my everyday routine. One of my favorite components of this system is the app. Whenever I first set up my Q Revo, I was able to watch how the vacuum mapped out my home. This created a map that I can then edit and I'm able to create boundaries and specific rooms and label those rooms so that I can direct the vacuum to where I want it to vacuum and where I want it to mop. I love the feature that you can see the walls and doorways in your home. It just gives you a better Better visual aid on how to use the vacuum to the maximum capacity. It has an outstanding cleaning performance with all new dual liftable spinning mops and 5,500 PA upgraded suction power. When the carpet is detected, the mops are lifted seven millimeters to not wet the carpet. It's equipped with a reactive tech obstacle avoidance system, so you don't have to pick it up along the way or before a cleaning session. Like I said, this helps a lot with cleaning routines and you can even set up your own routine for the Q Revo. You can set cleaning routines on the app to let the robot clean certain areas regularly. For those easy to stuck places and stairs, the Q Revo will automatically detect and suggest no-go zones to prevent your robot vacuum from getting caught or falling down. I love the feature of the app because if I am away, I can direct the vacuum to go ahead and vacuum even if I'm not home or if I have unexpected guests. It's a quick and easy way to get things cleaned up before anyone comes over. The dustbin automatically gets emptied into a vacuum bag that is easy to swap out. This really just makes cleaning and vacuuming and mopping so much easier. There's a tank for the clean water as well as the dirty water and it's easy to empty and to refill. I know if you are a busy mom like me that you will love this Roborock Q Revo vacuum as much as I do. Definitely go ahead and check out the information in the description box below. The Q Revo will be on sale from August 29th to September 2nd and it will be $200 off. The link and all of the information will be there. Once the little propagations were planted, I watered them. And what is really, really cool about this pot is there's this little window on the side that shows you the water in the bottom of the pot so you don't overflow. If you have any hanging pots, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes <laughs> things overflow. And then you make a huge mess with the water onto whatever is below the hanging plant. So the next thing I wanted to tackle was making some fun customized labels for my laundry room products, I guess is the right word. Um, so the main thing that I use is a laundry detergent, a stain spray, and then I'll use like Borox or I'll use OxyClean or something like that as a booster, a laundry booster. I don't use much laundry softener. Um, so these were just the things I needed. So I went ahead and looked on Cricut's website or their like area where you can search for a laundry label and as usual i didn't really find one i liked so i decided you know what? i'm gonna make my own custom label and i had a little bit of fun with it as you'll see here in a minute i decided to cut it out on this gold colored vinyl to give it a little more of a subtle maybe even vintage look to these dispensers. And what I did is I put Zook Laundry Co. If you don't know, our last name is Zook. And I thought it would be kind of fun to put that on there. And then I put the year that we were married as the day it was established, since that's the day I started doing laundry as our family came together. And I put the label on the laundry soap dispenser and also the spray bottle I'm using for the stain remover. And I just filled those with the items that obviously they're labeled with. I'll leave the link below for these different spray bottles and 
dispensers, but the cute jar that you see with the kind of cream lid, I did find at a antique store. It was just so cute. I love finding old containers and jars I can reuse for something else. It just gives your home that worn feeling and not so sterile and not everything being completely brand new. I just think that that helps your home to feel a bit more worn in and comfortable even if it is a little more minimal. I think there's always that fine line between minimal but also inviting and that's where I'm at. I'm trying to, I love a more minimal look, a more minimal feel, but my family still wants it to feel inviting and warm. So I'm trying to find the balance between those two things. If you're someone that likes a minimal home, and you have others in your home and you want to make it feel welcoming, you probably understand that struggle of trying to find that balance. So this tray is from Hobby Lobby. The bottom of it seemed fairly wipeable, so I felt okay putting these dispensers in here, and I just used it to corral my little products and just make it a place that kind of keeps everything on the shelf, keeps things from slipping or falling off. Next to it, I decided to fill up a vintage vase with some water and I cut another cutting actually off of my Swiss cheese plant. It's a pretty large plant, so I was thinking I would continue to propagate off of it. And once this grows roots, I will add it to my hanging pot up there and I'll just keep adding from the other plant and allowing more fullness to come to this hanging pot quicker than if I just waited for it to sprout all of its own new leaves. Like I said, this space has old linoleum in it, but it's fairly in fairly good shape. There's no holes in it. There are a few stains, but I just decided to put some nice natural rugs down to kind of give it a little bit of a dressed up feel. <laughs> and now I am focusing on this closet. So I got this beautiful bamboo shelf from Amazon and it works out perfectly in here just to store a few of the odds and ends for the laundry room and some other homemaking odds and ends. And I really am impressed with this shelf. It's pretty sturdy and I think it'll be a good shelf that even if I don't always want it in here, I could find other uses for it as well. And most all of these baskets and things are thrifted or things I've found on clearance. So very little effort and money went in to organizing all of this. I love finding baskets and things like that at the thrift store for under a dollar and I can make such good use of them for little spaces like this one. So now I am filling up the baskets that will go in the top of this closet. I have a little foldable ironing board. I don't use it very often except for when I'm sewing. If I'm going to sew something, I need to iron out the material for it. So it's not something I use on a daily basis at all. The next basket I decided to put in some little odds and ends like my gloves that I use if I've got something really icky to deal with. And then these are also the molds I use to make my toilet bombs. If you all missed that, it was in about two videos ago I showed how I make my homemade cleaners and how the toilet bombs are put together and I love all the cleaners. They've all been working really well by the way just as a little update. And then the last basket you all have probably seen before, it was in a shelf in our living room that's no longer there, um, but it's like my kitchen linens, my cheesecloths, my nut bags, um, flour sack towels to cover up bread as it's rising, those sorts of things. And it'll be easy for me to grab since this is right off of the kitchen. So I love wooden hangers. I just think they bring such an elevated feeling to your closet and I like making closets look pretty and you all know that. It's one of my favorite things to do is to be able to open up a kitchen ca cabinet or a closet door and the inside is also pretty. <laughs> so who says decorating has to stop at just your rooms? 
You can also do it within your closets, and so I think that wooden hangers bring that extra feel. So I wanted to do a little wall feature above the toilet in the bathroom that's next to this, and I got these thinner mats, these woven round mats from Hobby Lobby, and I think I paid a dollar a piece for them. They were marked so far down in their clearance stuff. So I had, there was only two of them there. I did go ahead and purchase this larger like round basket that you're seeing, um, but it was also on sale at least 50%, if not 60% off. So I really didn't pay that much at all for this little wall feature. I'm taking some super glue and I'm gluing one side of these command strips to the back of these woven mats. And I'm not, and I repeat, not super gluing these to the wall. I'm simply super gluing them to the mats and then unpeeling the other command strip and command stripping them to the wall, just to make that clear. I just wanted to make sure that the strips really stuck to the mats. And so that's why I super glued them there. And then you're gonna see my one daughter hopping up here. She had her thoughts on how she thought this should be hung and where she decided to place it all and everything was honestly perfect. I think she did such a good job. I love seeing my little ones kind of get their little design ideas in and seeing them have opinions about this type of stuff. And I think she did an excellent job. Her, her way of hanging this isn't quite how I would have initially hung it, but once it was all hung up, I just thought it was absolutely perfect. I don't think I could be more happy with how this project turned out. This could be one of my favorite little nooks in the house and it was a great rainy day project. I am so happy with this little shelf up here. It's gonna be a great plant area to give some plant sun that I have throughout the house. I can set them up there because the morning sun comes through this window every morning and it streams golden light here across my washer and dryer. So usually when I'm putting my first load in for the day, um, it's just beautiful in here and I'm so excited about my little tray of all of these cute uh, dispensers and things up here. I know that even my girls, they've been in and out today as I'm working on things and they're like, mom, everything is so cute. And they've been giving me their little thoughts and tips. They are six, seven, and eight. So they are to the age where they have little opinions as well. And my daughter, Everly, she's the one that said, mom, you need a plant here that the vines can come out across here because we don't open the top of this. That's the washer, this is the dryer, we open the front. And I was like, that is such a great idea. Plus this whole section, you see when you walk in the door of our kitchen, if you guys saw the video of making over the entire kitchen, then you know what I mean. So being able to see this pretty plant over here is really, really neat. We will walk into the bathroom here in a minute, but I do wanna talk about this other closet. I'm not going to talk about this closet because this is actually a part of my kitchen storage. So we will get to that closet in another video. But over here, I am so happy with how this closet turned out and I was able to do a good amount of decluttering as I was going through the stuff that needed to go into this closet. Um, as you saw the different things in these bins up here, and these are just a nice storage area for just random stuff. So I don't know, it may fluctuate what all goes in there. I do like to keep these little hangers in here as well because sometimes I take and hang stuff on them that need to be dried out of the washer on my large laundry hanger on my front porch. And so I'll hook them on to this and then take the hanger and the item out there to hang up to dry. It is the end of summer right now, so we don't use a lot of coats. So this will fill up a bit more here in the next couple of months as the weather gets colder. And down here, I have found the best thing with the ages of our children is to have a basket for them to put their jackets and coats in. Most of the time, if they try to hang them up here, they're not hung up properly and they end up falling on the floor anyways. So if there's a basket there, it can catch it or they can simply just throw their jackets and things into the basket. And I love keeping an eye out for these baskets at 
antique stores and thrift shops usually you can find them if you keep looking there is quite a few out there <laughs> and then here on this fantastic little tower shelf area which i'm really excited to have this storage just for odds and ends on the top i have my mop pads oh i forgot to hang my mop in here let me go grab that okay i got the mop hung up there and this little thing was actually here but that is the mop i like to use and then here's the mop pads they are actually amish made i believe either amish or mennonite made out of ohio and i cannot find them online anywhere um if anybody has more information on these i'd love to know they are called Troy Craft and they are my favorite mops. I have had this one for quite some time and really, really love it. It's easy for the girls to use as well. So that's what's in the top. Here is my dryer balls. We use these all the time. They're like a wool dryer ball. And then um, I wanna put essential oils in here that we can use on the dryer balls. And you may recognize this little container and this container down here. I've been doing a lot of decluttering and the shelf that these were on in the living room that you all may have seen in another video, we actually passed that on to my sister-in-law um, for use for things that they needed so we don't have that shelf in the living room anymore. In here, I've got some linen and room sprays, some fragrance oils and a lint roller and then this is just an extra candle. I like to pick up candles as I see them different places if they are soy or beeswax candles. This kind of gives me a little spot to store them until I'm ready to use them. Down here, this has wax melts in it um, for my wax warmer. And then that gray thing back there is a fuzzy remover. It's something that can go over material once it gets pilly and it will remove the pilled fibers on material. If you're interested in something like that, I'll leave it linked below. Um, it's from Amazon and I do find use for it every once in a while. This here I decided to set here because I thought maybe I could put change and stuff like that that we find in the dryer in there. And then down here is our little dog food container. We have a really big bag in our basement, but just to have a spot here that we can feed our little um, small house dog. And we do still have her. I've gotten questions about that recently. If we still have her and we do, so that's her little spot for her dog food. Okay, so shifting from the laundry room, and you all will see this whenever I organize this closet, but my broom hangs on the inside of this closet door. So the mop's over there, broom's over here, super close to the kitchen. And this little bathroom turned out so much nicer than I could even have expected. I did put a nice natural woven rug down here. Again, with this old linoleum, just trying to dress it up a bit. Down under the bottom of this sink, because it does not have a door, I just have a peace lily and a basket for toilet paper. The peace lily um, is a plant that can do well in low light. So since this room doesn't have windows, I will probably give it different breaks in our sunroom, um, but it should do just fine in this bathroom. I will keep an eye on it and see how it does. And I'm so happy with how this wall feature turned out and the fact that I paid very little for it. It's so pretty, it just adds a nice warm element to the space. I thought I would go ahead and show you the bathroom from this angle, sorry if it's echoey, and I just closed the door so it's really echoey in here. But with old homes comes funny old corks. And for some reason, they never mounted a light above the mirror here. I don't really know why, they just didn't. So there was just this little light on the side. And so we just made do with that. And so that's why I decided to put something here that would give a nice feature or like be able to balance out the mirror since it doesn't feel super balanced without a light above it. I don't know. So you can give me all your opinions in the comments, but we're gonna switch sides here. So this is the door that would go out to the laundry room, but I wanted to show you guys this funny little nook and excuse the painter's tape there that I have not taken off yet on the hinges, the back of the door, but this is a tiny, tiny, Closet. I always say this is my massive closet, but they decided with this shower that is right over here, so there's a nice little stand-up shower in here, to not waste the space behind it 
and make it into a closet. And I just thought it was so unique and cute and just so a part of this bathroom. So I left it the original way that it was, this funny plank of wood with the random fillers that don't match and just kind of left it its quirky little self in this bathroom. And I'm gonna show you what we use it for because I'm sure you are curious. So when I go to Costco, <laughs> and I get huge packs of toilet paper. This can be piled to the ceiling with toilet paper. And then in here, I'll keep things like wet wipes or cleaning wipes or tissues. Down here, we have a few rolls of paper towels. It's just kind of a nice area to be able to pack paper goods and it stays dry and I can pile the stuff to the ceiling and I'm maxing out the space that it has and it's a really quick and simple way off the kitchen for the girls to be able to grab things and Corey as well and myself as well. So I just had to show you all that. It's just one of my little giggles of this house that this closet is here, but you know what? I am so thankful for it and can make such great use of it. So there you can see the closet behind the door. There's the shower, just kind of giving you a little layout. The towel bar, the <laughs> little wall hanging I did, the mirror, and then there is the rest of the bathroom. I'm backing my way out, and then here is the laundry room. So I'm so happy that this part of the house has a fresh coat of paint that everything has been pulled together. It's super useful and I'm so thankful for Corey's help with it. He really did a lot to help pull this together as well and it's just become such a great useful space for us. So thanks a lot for watching today guys. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, simple decorations, making things homey and useful for your families, yet clean and just feel so inviting. That is what I so enjoy doing. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what you are currently working on. I love to hear about your projects as well. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video.